Hello guys, welcome to detailed Python training course by Software Testing Help. So, in our previous tutorial, we discussed about installation of PyCharm and conditional statements. So, oh, there are four types of conditional statements. So, in our previous video, we discussed only if statements. So, today in this video, we will discuss if else statements, elif statements, nested if or if else statements. So, now we'll discuss if else statements. So, what is if else statements? So, if else statements evaluates Boolean expression and executes the block of code present inside the if block if the condition is true. Okay, and it will execute the block of code present inside else block only when the condition becomes false. So, let's see a syntax how it looks. The syntax of if else statements. So first we have to write if it evaluates a Boolean expression. In my previous video, I told you about what is Boolean expression. So this is the start of my if statement. So I will write some block of code here. Then I will write else. Okay. Else then some block of code. Okay, what happens when the control comes to this section, it will evaluate the Boolean expression. If the condition is true, then the block of code present in there, inside this if statement will be executed. Okay. If the condition becomes false, then the block of code present inside else will be executed. Okay, let's see with an example. Okay, let me create one more file. We'll name it as if else statement. If else statement. Okay. So now I'll declare one variable called num. Okay. Equal to five. And now I will check if the number is greater than ten. Okay. If number is greater than ten. Okay, if the number is greater than 10, I will say print the number is greater than 10. Okay, print number is greater than 10. Okay, otherwise, or else, if the number is not greater than 10, what operation you need to perform, then else come into picture. How you write else? Just say else. Okay. Enter. So now I will say print number is less smaller or less than 10. Right? Number is less than 10. Okay. So I will come out of if and else loop. So now I will write one more statement. Print this statement will always execute okay so let's see what happened so what i did is i declared a variable called num and assigned a value 5 then in if condition using a relationship operator i'm checking if the number is greater than 10 so if the number is greater than 10 what happens print number is greater than 10 okay else print number is less than 10 okay otherwise if the both the conditions are true or false so this statement will always be executed so in our code the number is 5 5 is greater than 10 it is true but obviously 5 is not greater than 10 then the statement inside i mean the print statement this print statement will not be executed so now it only executes this print statement and this print statement. So let's see and we we'll execute it. So right click run if else statement. So if you observe, number is less than 10, right? It will not execute this statement because the condition became false. Whenever the condition became false, it will execute the else block. Okay. Then obviously this statement will be executed. Okay, this is about if else statement. Now we move on to 
another type of if statement and that is elif statement so elif statement is similar to if else statement but elif statement evaluates multiple if condition so let's see the syntax of it okay so so it will look like this that if boolean expression true then block of code okay so then what happens is elif if you want to check one more condition so again evaluates the boolean expression boolean expression okay if this condition is true then this block of code will be executed okay then else block of code so what happens is the control comes to this when the control comes to this position it will check the boolean expression okay if the boolean expression is true then this block of code will be executed okay then the control comes out of this step that means do not execute a leaf and a leaf. suppose if the, this boolean expression becomes false then it will come to this elif statement then it will check if this condition is true then it will execute okay if the both the if, if this if statement and this elif statement condition becomes false then it will come to else block okay let's see with an example okay. so i'll create one more file elif statements elif statements Okay, so now I will declare a variable called num to value as the uh, so ten. Okay. So now I will check if my number is equal to zero. That means double equal to zero. Okay. So now I will say if my number is double equal to zero, then I will print number is my number is zero. Okay, so now I will say elif. Okay, then you have to again give the condition. I will say if my number is greater than five. Okay, if my number is greater than five, then I will print my number is greater than five. Number is greater than five. Okay. Yes, I'll print number is less than five. Number is less than five. Okay. Then come out of all the statements. I'll execute. So I'll just say hello. Okay. So if we observe here. I declared a variable called num with value as 10, right? After that, I'm checking if my number is double equal to zero. That means 10 double equal to zero. So wrong. Then it will come to a limit. If my number 10 is greater than 5, it will no, then it will come to L. It will say sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh, number is 10. So 10 is greater than 5. Yes, true. Then what happens? Number is greater than five will be executed. Okay. Only this print statement and this print statement will be executed. I will run this by transfer, just observe. Output. See, number is greater than five. And help. So let's try uh, number is uh, less than. Then uh, I'm expecting number is less than five. Let's see. See, number is less than five. Not hello, okay, it's greater, obviously. Okay, this is about elif statements. So, the one more statement is there that is called the one more type of conditional statement is called nested if else statements. Yeah, nested if statements. So, what is nested if else statement means? A if statement present inside another if statement. Is present another present is another if statement. It's like a tree. 
so statement then insert another statement that uh, statement is present another inside another statement is so on so i'll show you on syntax you will understand okay if boolean expression okay then block of code okay then i write one more statement here yeah. okay then block of code So you can write any number of statements inside uh, this statement, this is your you can, you can keep on writing n number of, okay? So if you observe here, first it will come, it will check this expression. If it is true, it will execute this block of code. Then again, check, check uh, it will check this expression. If it is true, then it will execute the block of code. If this condition become false, then it will not all execute any of these statements, right? So let's, see this syntax nested if statements with an example let's say nested if statements okay so now we we'll say number equal to so equal to five okay so now we will check if my number is greater than uh, say zero. Okay, if my number is greater than zero, I will say my number is positive, right? If any number is greater than zero, means obviously positive. The number is positive. Right. So then I will write one more statement here. Let's check my number. Is less than 10, right? So then I will say print number is less than 10. Number is less than 10. So let's see now. Okay. Okay. This is more example. If you observe here, my variable called num having a value 5. So here I'm checking if my number is greater than 0 as 5 is greater than 0, then it will print number is positive. Then I will check if my number is less than 10, 5 is less than 10, as sure, then it will print number is less than 10. So let's execute and see. See, number is positive and number is less than 10. So let me say if my number is greater than 10. So it should only print number is positive. Let's uh, execute it. Okay, see, number is positive because my number is not greater than 10. That's why it didn't execute this test. Okay, so today in this video, we discussed about uh, some other types of conditional statements that is, else, else if statements, else if statements, nested if statements. So in the next video, we'll discuss about the looping statements. What are the different types of looping statements available in Python? We'll discuss a little bit. Thank you. Guys.